What's up everybody, JJ here, and welcome back to day three of the 12 Prints of Christmas. If you've missed the previous days, those are linked in the description down below. But today we're gonna move on. It's kind of an opposite of what yesterday was. Yesterday we were intentionally creating stringing to get a good looking Christmas tree, and today we're doing kind of the opposite. Today we're covering creating Christmas ornaments that really need your stringing dialed in really well on your 3D printer. Retractions are essential to getting this one working correctly. The big two slicer settings that you need to dial in are retraction distance and retraction speeds. I'll put up some basic ones for any of you who are still getting that dialed in, but those settings are fairly basic to most 3D prints out there. And today the interesting setting we're gonna be covering is lightning infill in Cura. So the latest update to Cura had a pretty incredible new update in there an infill setting called lightning. A way to think of lightning infill, it's kind of like tree supports, but for the inside of your print. This is a great example of a purely decorative print. It doesn't need to support weight. It doesn't need to be very strong at all. A single wall on the outside works fine, but all of these parts of the print are hollow. And so to support the top parts, it can be useful to have internal supports. That's true at both the top and the bottom. Some supports in there really help. But instead of using a normal grid infill that will fill the entire print with grid infill, lightning structure places it only where it's really needed and not where you don't need it. So where you don't need it here in the middle of the print, it's gonna put barely any infill at all and the top and the bottom, it's gonna put it where it thinks it needs it most. In a print as small as this, you might not see as big of a change in how long it's gonna to take to print and how much extra material is used. But in much larger prints that are still purely decorative, the lightning infill can save you a lot of time and a lot of extra plastic that you really don't have to waste. And these ornaments are incredibly well created. I'll link the creator down below. He has so many amazing designs out there. These were just some of my favorite I printed out. They printed so well, they look amazing. He has them in these mini ornaments sizes or even more of a full-sized ornament size. And I love these. They're a nice challenge to make sure your printer is really dialed in. Your retraction settings have to be really good and also your bed adhesion has to be really good. You do use a little bit of support at the bottom to help hold it down to the bed because it is a perfect ball. Instead of having only a single point touching the bed, with a little bit of support it does help it really stick to the bed. So today we're really testing out your retraction settings and your bed adhesion. So these might be some pretty technical prints to really stretch your printer's ability. And here I'm gonna show you how easy it is to hang them up. The prints are really nice. They've got just a small enough loop on the top. You can put a paper clip. These are basically green paper clips used exclusively for hanging ornaments on Christmas trees. But you don't need to use a Christmas tree. You can just use a pegboard. And that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So you just loop it through that loop on top and you can just hook it to the pegboard. So this place is getting even more festive every day of this week. And that's basically all there is to getting these decorations up. And overall that wraps up day three of the 12 Prints of Christmas. This is kind of a collection of Christmas ornaments. And if this is the first video of this series you've seen, I'll link the playlist down below so you can catch up on the previous ones. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button and that subscribe button, make sure you won't miss any of my future videos. We've still got several days to go in this print series, so you're really not gonna wanna miss them. But anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day out there. Go print something amazing, and I'll see you in the next one.